are you? Hi. How you doing? Fine, fine. All right. Where are you coming from? I'm in North Carolina. Jerry is oh, next, fantastic. right next to Raleigh. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, and your name's David, right? David Holcomb, yes. All right. Nice to meet you. I'm in New York. Um, thanks for coming on Pitch Investors Live here. Hope you're having a great day. And yeah, yes. just uh, just a word about Pitch Investors Live. Um, you and I are talking here on video chat. chat and we have, oh, a little echo. Uh, does something change? In, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, you have a little echo going on. Oh, there we go. Fixed. Okay. So you and I are chatting here, but we have an audience watching with us around the world, both on the app as well as on social. Yes. Um, so, you know, so it's not just one-on-one, -on -one, you're pitching to everyone out there. So um, everything you say, um, hopefully as many people are watching and can get involved and let's see what you got going on here. Okay. So briefly, I'm going to describe my garment as a cooling garment is called a cool tea. And uh, I'm just going to tell you some basic things about the cool tea and uh, why I think it will be very appealing worldwide. Okay. So yep. uh, basically what we've designed is a cooling garment and there are many cooling garments out there, which I'm sure you're aware of. Um, but mine is the simplest and most appealing because it is simple. It will be affordable. And uh, the things that I've already seen on the market, which I can go ahead and get out of the way, is either they're too bulky, they're too heavy, or they're just inconvenient. And they're just not things that would be appealing worldwide. So what I have will be appealing worldwide. And uh, some of the things I want to point out about the garment is we're going to start out with uh, T-shirts, sweatshirts, and jerseys. And on these garments will be a cooling fan. It's lightweight. It can be attached and, re, you know, detached by Velcro. So it's convenient. It will be powered by batteries. We can be clip, clipped onto your belt or just dropped into your pocket. The wire, which is very small, will be on the inside of the garment, so it won't be seen. And um, two, I want to point out... Um, those who will find this appealing. So users who will find this garment appealing are all indoor and outdoor sports. In the wintertime, they have the gyms where people go in, they play racquetball, tennis ball, they jog, they uh, lift weights, they sweat. So where my garment comes in, it's very helpful when, to prevent people from overheating. And you can activate this whenever you get ready. So I wanna show you and whoever else is watching, basically, this is the principle. So is, a fan, is that a fan in there? Yes. But see, it's a technique that allows me to do this. And you know how thin and lightweight a, a T-shirt and jersey is. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a working model that I made myself. But if I'm funded, I'm going to get professional models made. And uh, so the proof of concept has already been proven that it will work because one has already been made. So what the things that I'm telling you have already been, you know, confirmed and uh, it will just be done on a greater, more professional scale if I'm funded um, to, to make them professionally. So so basically this garment will be uh, appealing to all sports, indoor, outdoor, all workers, blue collar workers, work in factories, uh, people who do lawn service, uh, uh, landscaping, almost anything you can think of, it would be appealing, especially roofers, uh, people who pave roads, don't see how they handle it, but something like this would be very helpful to them. Uh, little leaguers, parents would love that their kids could keep cool if they need to, they play racquetball or soccer. Uh, high schools, colleges, pro teams would find this garment uh, appealing. Um, uh, you may be wondering how long would it take to launch this? We're estimating between two and four months, which means this year, if we get funded, um, we're confident that whoever invests could receive 
a uh, return on their investment before this year is over. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this type of garment would be appealing as soon as it's available. Now, it's not going to be something you got to work real hard to sell someone on. And uh, we have a marketing plan, marketing schemes to, to get it out there pretty quickly. And one of the fastest ways to do that is uh, infomercial, mm -hmm. which brings us to funding, because that's what the funding will be used for, you know, quality prototypes so that you can send out to buyers, uh, commercials, and, uh, you know, distributors, you know, uh, you know retailers uh, for their stores. So you got to have samples that you can send out where they can put them on, try them on, make sure they work, and that sort of thing. And um, being that this will be a full-time job for me and my team, part of the funding will go towards, you know, paying them something so that uh, they can give a valiant effort and not have to work full-time so that they can devote quality time to promoting this product. And I've already made contact with people who have contacts with, uh, you know, like sports team, even on the pro level. So uh, if you get one celebrity to wear this, it's off to the races. If you do an infomercial, it's off to the races. So, and like I said, the things that are out now uh, that are in this category, I don't see anybody wearing them. So that lets you know they're not, they're not a big hit. This is going to be a big hit as soon as it's available. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, that's pretty much my, uh, my summary on, on the product. Now, okay, cool. I'll go on to any questions. Yeah, sure. Um, can you turn your volume down a little bit, maybe? Because I'm, I'm getting a bad feedback here. Oh, uh, I'm okay. sorry. It's tough, tough to hear myself talk. Oh, right, there we go. We're better. Okay. Oh, um, I can go lower if that's not, you know. No, no, that's, that's perfect. How okay. about that? Is that good? Yep. Okay. So, oh, do okay. you have, have you created a prototype yet? Yes, but it's one that I made myself. And um, to make sure that this worked, because before it, all it was is, is a hypothesis. Nobody knew how to create a garment that could how something like this because everybody that has done it it was way too heavy there's one guy in japan he done it too but it's a fan and it weighs about five pounds that it hooks onto the side of your shirt and it rests on your belt buckle and it's so heavy i can't imagine anybody would want to wear something like that but really he was using it in office settings you know what i mean when it was designed to be sure. used sure. when the ac go out but a garment to wear so do you that do you have your Actually, prototype here with you? Yes, yes, I do. do but I have a video where I'm demonstrating that prototype. Oh, okay, I'll check that. I share it with, with Diana. Okay. She could, she could also let you see that video. You'll see the uh, the product in action, and right. then you'll. So then um, so the what's the process of getting this manufactured? Um, timeline. Well, what's that cost? All that. Yeah, well, what I was trying to do is get an investment of $250,000 because I want inventory because this product is going to sell itself. Once it's made professionally, all I got to do is send one to whoever buys for Walmart, whoever buys for Target, whoever buys for supply sport teams, whoever supply schools, just one garment. A little, you know, bit, a little bit more difficult than that, I'm telling you. So, But, but that's not my question. How, what's the process to get it manufactured? Um, okay. Well, my first uh, step would be uh, after I get funding is a, a a prototype company, which I already have, and uh, actually I have two to choose from because I narrowed it down to two, and uh, I've already shared the uh, the project with them. I got them to sign the NDA first, but uh, that's why I didn't share, share the video online because see, once I share it online, somebody might try to jump ahead of me. But like I said, Diana can share with you what I shared with her. So. Um, but anyway, that would be the first step. I'm going to a prototype company who's waiting on me. They've already given me a, uh, a, a price, both of them, of what it would cost. How much? Professionally. Uh, well, for the prototype, it was going to be uh, $30,000, twenty-five dollars to $30,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, But when they get finished, everything, they're going to fine-tune it, tweak it, and everything is completely ready to take that to a manufacturer and say, I want 1,000 of these. You see what I mean? Now, here's the beauty of what I have, too, is, uh, like I said, there will be T-shirts, there will be uh, uh, sweatshirts, and jerseys. Now, you know, jerseys have, uh, you know, um, designs on them, 
uh, numbers, all kind of creativity on them. So those are going to cost more. You see what I mean? But, but there will be a price for basic T-shirts, basic sweatshirts, and uh, jerseys. No, there's what's gonna the be, yep. So there's going to be like, for an example, uh, high school. They may want 100 for their school sports. You see what right. I mean? With their yeah, logo. I get it. I get it. Um, what's, the cost of what's the cost of manufacture just a regular shirt? You mean a regular T-shirt? Yeah, a regular T-shirt. Um, it varies from quality, you know, depending upon the quality. Uh, I've seen some as low as two dollars. See what I mean? So, but you got to tack on the slight adjustment needed for this uh, accessory. So, uh, I would say probably uh, on an average, probably five dollars on the low end, and maybe depending upon the material, fifteen or twenty dollars. See, this can be added to just regular T-shirts or dress. Uh, semi dress shirt, you know, like you want to go out to dinner or you want to go, not dinner, but you know, if you want to go out and hang out with the guys at a club or something, uh, what you're wearing, you want it to be, you know, fairly appealing to the level of a jersey. That's why I'm going to use jerseys because a lot of people wear jerseys. Every so, sports team has a clientele. So, is that your is that your first go to market with, is with jerseys? Is that is that the plan? Well, that's one of the plans. See, I, I'm, it doesn't take a whole lot to assemble this. So uh, it's, it's so simple yet, and it's so effective that it's almost it's, 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 it's a no brainer. When if you've ever been sweating and you were outside, no matter how hot it was, when the wind started blowing, did it feel great or what? Mm -hmm. So now with one of these garments, you can initiate that at any time. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. And and obviously I'm used to it. I mean, no matter how warm it is, if you're sweating and, you, and the wind blows from any source, it feels great. Mm -hmm. and, how, and how much how much weight would this add to it? Well, see, that's why I didn't want to show the video because I didn't want anybody to know how to. Nobody knew how to make this, so uh, it weighs about as much as a quarter. Quarter of a pound? No. Coin. Oh, quarter. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, yeah. So that's what enabled me to do this. That's why nobody ever thought about doing it because if they ever did, they oh man, it's way too heavy. I mean, it, it would be almost like walking around with a small brick hanging on your shirt. See, I mean, it's, it's unappealing. So, and, and how nobody's going. How does it weigh so so little? I don't get it. Well, that's in the design. But the physical fan itself has to weigh more than a quarter. Weigh more than a quarter, you know. Yeah. What's it like a what's it like a, a foam a foam fan? Uh, no, no, no. It's just a regular fan blade. Plastic, yeah. Yeah, everything is plastic. Let me say that. Even the um, electronics within the fan and the battery and all that. Well, see, what you got to understand is the battery is not going to be on your shirt. That's another thing that nobody ever thought about. See, the battery's going to be in your pocket, or you can hang it on your belt buckle. It doesn't matter. It clips on your belt buckle. So it has no effect on what's attached to your shirt. All it is is a power source. <clears throat> it's very small, too, and not heavy. So you have to hook a battery up and keep it on your body somewhere, though? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and... Okay, so so he's going to make a – have you done, like, all the engineering? You know, so I know you said you're going prototypes. Have you done all the engineering for for the creation of the product? It's only going to be fine-tuned by the prototype company that I choose. But I've already shared with them what I have. What they're going to do is iron out all the little kinks and make it uh, perfect perf perfect in this function, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, so, so what you see, like, that, like that cord, you're not going to see that. Cool. Uh, yeah, All right, so yeah. let's let's fast forward. You have the product, you have inventory. You know, how are you getting this out there? Well, what I propose to do is a infomercial first, because what that will do is send out national, maybe you know, further than that, uh, 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 exposure. This product is going to sell itself as you soon as people see it. You don't, you don't no. want to do an infomercial. Trust me. Really? Nope. No. Well, I mean, that's one of the things we were thinking about. The other thing is uh, to send out samples to buyers. 
mm -hmm. which I've already made contact with some. And when it's ready, I'm going to send them a sample, which will be a, a completed product, by the way, right. that will sit right. on the counter. And, and, and either they'll like it or they won't. I can't imagine anybody not liking it. Everybody that, that, that I've shared this with in secrecy thought it. Yeah, well, no, first yeah. Of all, it's not, it's not about liking it. It's not about liking it or not liking it. It's about the data and the proof. Um, what you want to do is you want to hit it online first, right? The new, the new way of the infomercial, shooting video, creating good content, you know, and, and, and blasting it, you know, both with video content as well as paid advertising through yeah. online methods, Facebook, Instagram, Google, yeah. YouTube, yeah. all that stuff, right? And, yeah. and before, and honestly, before you bring it to retailers, because yeah, you can send it to Walmart, you can send it to all these places, like they may think it's cool, right? Everyone's going to think it's cool. Um, but you want to build data first, right? You yes. want to build data. You want to show who's buying it, why they're buying it, how much they're buying, you know, uh, who's the customer, what it costs you to get a customer, um, you know, and all the numbers and, and you know, and data around that. Yes. Because you have that before you show it to a retailer. Yes. You know, one, you're prepared. Two, you're giving them all the knowledge that they need and you're making their, and you're making their decision a lot easier. Yes, um, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, and that was one of the options that we were going to consider. We were just going to do everything. That, that uh, the infomercial, which we hold up on, but uh, uh, the wave of the future is electronic and, and uh, Amazon, eBay, everything. So, I mean, I'm, I'm with you on that. A lot of people purchase. I think the last, uh, you know, survey that was done on, on, on purchasing, um, most purchasing is done online now versus going to, uh, more purchasing is done online versus going to uh, facilities to buy stuff. So yeah, I mean the the fate, the fate of retail is to be determined. But yeah, um, yeah, and, and listen, a TV infomercial is just too expensive and not cost not cost efficient. Um, you know, expensive to shoot a high quality commercial, and uh, you know, expensive to buy media. Um, yeah. it's not targeted, and. It's uh, not not like it used to be. So, well, they do have one that does target certain certain uh, markets. I, I will say that because I found out about them. There's there's a few companies that target possible okay. clientele. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do okay. to ensure that those who should be interested in what you have to offer have an opportunity sure. to see, sure. see if they want it. So, mm -hmm. but um, but anyway, that's the plan. First step is to get. Professional prototypes made uh, where you can feel, touch, and try out. Secondly, uh, as a matter of fact, I talked to a guy who uh, went to college. He specializes in marketing. And uh, he has a friend who can who, who does infomercials to do, you know, to send out in a blast. Do you see what I mean? To emails. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. What do you think about that? Right. Email blast right. into the video. Right. That right. sends you to a website to purchase the product. Right. Okay. Right. Um, gotcha. So, have you thought about doing crowdfunding campaign too? This this seems like it could be a cool crowdfund crowdfunding type item. Um. Yeah, I, I've thought about that, but I I thought a an investor would be faster because we're ready to rock as soon as we get the funding. So, yeah, I mean, listen, yeah. you, you're in you're in the most difficult stage of investment, right? You you have, you know, I mean, for all intents and purposes, you know, it's an idea, right? You haven't done anything, you haven't created the product, it doesn't exist, you haven't sold anything, um, you know. It's, well, the product is created, it's just not on a professional level. No, I mean, listen, it's, it's a handmade prototype, so yeah, yes. sure, sure, um, but. You know, you're at the most difficult stage because you haven't proven anything out. You know, you're you're at the very, very, very you know starting point of of the process to build a successful consumer product brand. Um, so, like, have you do you have any funds available to, to move forward on, on your own, or you're you you need an investor? I need an investor. Uh, okay. To be honest. Okay. Hello. Yes. Fine, fine. Let me call you right back. I'm, 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 I'm talking to someone right now on another line. I'll call you right back. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem.
Yeah, so uh, 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 investor is the route that I want to go. So okay. Uh, and uh, in, in order to get this thing up and running, uh, if you know before the close of this year, I'm, I'm just hoping that I can get an investor pretty pretty soon. Because, like I said, all the preliminary things are in place. This is not a difficult product to to uh, assemble. So, and it's not a difficult product to use. Everything else on the market in that category is. That's why you don't see anybody wearing them. So. Gotcha. gotcha. As I'm soon as this is ready, I'm telling you, as soon as it's ready, I'm confident that uh, it would be uh, in demand. You know, it's a cool idea. Uh, it's a cool idea. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think it's something for us. I mean, first of all, you know, just to – you know, give you get you know, give you a little bit more you know insight. Like we um, we don't really do we don't really do clothing. Um, clothing clothing is is something we stay away from for this main reason is because it's very skew intensive. Um, so when you look at like our successes, it's all been gadget based item one skew two skews. Um, you know maybe you know maybe a few more add ons and whatnot. Um, you know, clothing. You're talking sizes, colors. You know, uh, you know, high high returns in that category as well. Um, something that we stay away from for mainly that reason, because it's logistically intensive um, and a little bit more riskier as well. Um, I, I like the idea. It's a cool idea. Yeah, you know, I think you have a lot of work and a lot ahead of you to to make it happen. Um, right. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's as easy as maybe you paint the picture. Uh, because, uh, you know, obviously, you know, listen, you're confident about the idea, which is, which is great. Yes. Um, yes. And it is a cool idea, you know, and, um, you know, but it's, you know, the journey to get there is, um, you know, is, is not just as simple, you know, as, as, uh, as you make it sound. And I think you have to put a lot of, a lot more research and thought into how you're going to do things um, and understand mm -hmm. the metrics and, and how it all works. Um, you know, because when you say infomercial, like right off the top, I'm like, N that's not that's not what you do, right? So I think you need to put in, then how you're going to get this out there, you know, and and especially like the retail the retail business, like it's also not just, you know, you don't just send a product to to Walmart or you know wherever you know and expect them to go and buy a boatload of product, and even if they do, and even if they do. You know, you need to understand how you're going to make sure it sells in those stores too. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so um, yeah, I think you need to learn a little bit more about kind of how that how that business works. Um, you know, and, and listen, having a good, you know, having a strategic person on board, you know, is going to, um, you know, is going to jumpstart that and and you know and fix a lot of the learning curve that you're going to need to go through. Um, and you know, really, like, quite honestly, like. I just, I don't even know, I don't even know how to inventory forecast clothing. Like, like it's something we, like, never done it. Never, never have done clothing. Something we stay away from. Yeah, well, I wouldn't well, even know well, how to order inventory, how, yeah, how, yeah, how to, how to for, I mean, I guess you could figure it, we could figure it out. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's not as complicated as you think, because see, the way things work now, the manufacturer also does the shipping from their plant. You never even have to touch it. All you have to do is tell them where to send it. That's the system now. You don't, they don't, they don't make it and send it to you and then you send it to somebody else because we're going to be doing bulk, bulk selling anyway. So. Uh, All right. Yes. And, yes. And no, yes. And no. Um, it depends. Right. I mean, yeah, sure. If you have a big Walmart order, sure. You can send right to Walmart, but if you're doing any e-commerce, if you, you know, if you're, trying to get ahead of inventory um, and not just make make for on-demand orders, you know, which ultimately that's how you build the business. Like, you know, you got to you gotta take risk and buy inventory in advance, right? So, you know, yes and no, it depends, but... Um, oh, actually, this product can be made on, on, on based on orders, on bulk, bulk orders. You don't want to do that on one or two orders, but I mean, like I said, that's what we're going to be going after. We're going to sell... Uh, commercially and residentially. So, mm -hmm. but our main goal is to sell in bulk to commercial, like high schools, colleges, and even get into the pros. Because see, even in pro football, they have walkthroughs where all they do is wear a jersey. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm not worried about this product selling. All I got to do is get the money to get that thing rolling, and I know it's going to take off 100%. Have you, right. have you talked to distributors for high school and uh, high school football and, and uh, college? And yeah, you, know, you talked to anyone? Oh, who, who... Yeah, you know, they, say, they and I tell them about you know uh, this this uh, the product, and they say it's a no brainer. And they want to know where they want to know. Uh, uh, well, is it ready? That's what they always ask me. Is it ready? And see, right. one that I didn't have the capital to get it out there the way it needs to be. I was trying to. I was fishing for interest, just to see if the interest was similar to do, do the interest have, that I. Have. Do you have and a patent? patent? What kind? What kind of patent? Provisional. Yes. Okay. I have several patents. I have several inventions. Uh, if uh, clothing is not what you all are interested in, you might be interested in my pain reliever. It's an external pain reliever for everything. It works for everything. I'll tell you the website. You can go and check it out. If you're not interested in this shirt, it's okay. But Einstein1technologies.com. Go there and read about that product. You might want to get it's It's ready. It's ready to go. Can you send that to Diani and sure. she can get that over to me? Or Dan, uh, or Dan, whoever yes. uh, yeah. sitting out there. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, because no, I'm not. Uh, you know, because if I if I leave this app right now on my phone, it's gonna it's gonna get rid of it. Um, and I'm not oh, on the okay. computer, so. Um, okay, yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah, I mean, pain relief. That's a good cat. That's a hot category for for okay. us, honestly. Hey, um, everything we tried it on, it worked. Everything. Everything. And I'll send you a sample. Right. So. Fine. Then you, we can erase all doubt. So that's something that, you know, uh, once I talk to uh, Dayani, uh, she can uh, tell me where to send it. I'll send it. Y'all check it out. Send you two or three samples. Try it out. Man, you hey, you, got, you got a lot of sleeves. You got a lot of tricks. I, you, you know? I'm an inventor. I, when I started out as a kid uh, in school, I invented the third brake light. It was stolen from me. Third you brake light one, sorry. on all the cars. Oh, in the yeah. middle? In the, in the I middle. invented that. It was stolen from me because I didn't know how to protect anything. And uh, I was a kid, and I know their reason. We're not going to give that kid all his money. And they just took it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, just, I only mention that to let you know I have a creative mind. Whenever I run into an issue, all I can come up with it. It just comes to me. So it's a gift. Yes. That's great, man. That's great. Um, yeah, we look for uh, look for people like you to, to keep supplying. What I'll do is I'll send you a, a uh, my in, invention summary list too, so you might see something else on there that you have an interest. In. I got about oh great. Right. So, Fantastic. but uh, I'm gonna tell you know I'll I'll send that to uh, Yanni too. So yeah, perfect. Yeah, please do. That's awesome. Yeah, it'd be good to connect on a lot of that stuff because uh, you know really really I mean now that I know yes. this what you just said. You know, you need, you know, you need a, you know, you need partners in order to help bring your inventions out, not necessarily right. yourself bring them out, oh, yeah. right? Um, because, because I, I know, I know, I, I know, you know, and, and I hate to say this, like I know, like you know, we we've been around the this space a long time, and I know your kind, mm -hmm. right? I know the inventor, I know the mentality, I know how they work, and and you you guys come up with ideas. You know, brilliant ideas, and you know, and and you bring them to a certain point, and um, and this is listen, we've never come up with any idea, right? We never invent anything. We work with people like you to help bring sure. things out there, right? So if it's not, if it's not, uh, if it's not the the you know, the fan and the clothing, it's you know, and if it's not the the pain reliever, it's one of the fifteen other things that you got going on. So. Um, It'd be it'd be great to learn about all the other things because sure. that's that's. Well, let me say this too. Yeah, we're a vol you know we're a volume business, right? Like we'll, you know, we've tested, you know, nine products in the last like yes. three months, right? And um, you know, and and it's just you know it's just kind of how we work, and and if one of them works, that's all we need. So, um, that's kind of that's kind of how our model works. So love love sure, to take a sure. look at everything. Sure, sure. Let me say this: a licensing deal is also open to anyone else's watch. <laughs> Let me see. They want to take it, you know. There you go. Listen, here, here's what you need. Here's what you need, though. You, you need, uh, 
you need real patents, right? A provisional patent isn't going to cut it. Well, um, you need you you need to really go down the route to get a utility patent and and really right. protect your idea. Yeah, you know, because you know, listen, I know you have a year on the provisional patent and all that stuff, but it's really you know you don't know if that's even protectable. You don't know if it's even protected. Um, you really need a, a, yeah. a real utility well, patent uh, to, to make to make that. I mean, that's probably what happened. No, I didn't have right? anything on Great Light. And since I've been filing provisionals, oh, I, yeah. I do have a couple of utilities uh, on, on pretty good product too. But um, um, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I've never had anyone to steal anything from me that I've had a, at least a provisional on. Never. Because it's a risk. Yeah. It's a risk. So if you try to take it, I can file, you know, get an attorney to go ahead and do the utility at any time and uh, shut you down. You invested all that money trying to steal the idea from me. And you now you got to stop and then you got to pay me royalties on stuff, you know, that on the money you made because I was first in line. So that's why nobody yeah. does it. If you file a provision, most of the things on the market, like 95 percent are patent pending. They're, they're, they're provisional because they make the money and get out. It's just that simple. Now, one thing about my spray is uh. It's a trade secret. So even though I've, you've got a provisional patent on that too, uh, no one knows the formula. So that I don't have to file. I don't have to file a cool. utility on it because it's a trade. It's going to be a trade secret, and it is. So. Oh, so yeah, well, it's also a lot of uh, a lot of paint relievers products out there. So you may not even get. Well, that's why you do. Right that's now. why you go to trade secret yeah. route. I mean, it's just so many out there, and 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 most of them external. They don't work, and those that do work, they're inconvenient. I mean, I want you to think about this. A patch, putting your hand in a jar and rubbing cream on a burn or a scar, or just spray it. Which one would you rather do? Is it over? Sure. I got it. All right, cool, man. Sure. Awesome. Great to meet you. Um, send me the, you know, send me the, uh, the list of sure. stuff you got going on. You know, if it's not, not this product, sure. maybe there's some other ones you got. We'll do. Awesome. Great to meet you. Thanks for coming on Pitch Investors Thank Live. You. Hopefully, um, hopefully there's other other uh, folks out there who saw what you have and maybe could help out in, yes. in one way, shape, or form. And um, you know, love to love to hear you from will. you. Will very soon. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Goodbye. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Now.